Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. Howdy, puppy parents. Hey there, dog lovers of every kind. Do y'all know why this weekend is special? Uh, oh yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And thanks for the roses. You're welcome. But <laughs> but it's not just Valentine's Day. It's Carson's birthday. That's right. Technically, it was on February 12th. But if you recall, 49 dog years ago, we were sitting in the car when you showed me your phone. Uh-huh. And on the screen was a website with... Picture after picture of newborn Jack Russell puppies. And you said, choose. Yeah, it was a surprise Valentine's present. Yeah. And you did choose, and our lives would never be the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> our lives have changed drastically. And absolutely for the better, of course. Out of all the puppies on the site, why did you choose the one that eventually became our Carson? I just remember he seemed really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tricked you. He is sweet, but you know, we we've, we've been through some things. But he was he just seemed sweet and he was so cute. And then he also had really pretty markings. Mm. Wiggles, our first JRT, your stepson in our blended dog family, was also a smooth coat and had the same markings. Yes, both of our precious little boys had a full brown mask with the king's thumbprint. Yeah. They've the been dubbed royalty. It's a doorbell. Ding I dong. press it and say, ding dong, nobody's home. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> uh, except Wiggles, his whole body was white, while Carson has two, what you would call like a saddle markings or uh-huh. big bean-shaped brown circles on his back. Hence, one of his many nicknames is Beanie. Bean, Beanie Baby. Bean Boy, Beanie Boy. Beanie Boy, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so to celebrate Carson's birthday, we sang to him a very off-key rendition of Happy Birthday. And one of his special treats was a squeaky little polar bear. And truth be told, we kind of overbought during Christmas (laughs) and decided (laughs) to save one. One of the toys for his birthday Some other great ideas for celebrating your dog's birthday can be found at puppyleaks.com. For example, number one, host a doggy birthday party. Number two, let your dog pick out a toy. I definitely want to give that. Yeah, that's like super fun for them. Either, you know, there was that one video that we saw where the shelter, I think at Christmas time, laid all these toys out and the dogs got to come in. It was the cutest thing and sweetest thing. And they picked a toy and they really did pick one that yeah, they really wh- liked. Whichever one they picked up and, and ran away with, that's the one they kept. Yeah. Number three, make a dog friendly cake or treats. And number four, enjoy a new trail with your dog. A few more ideas are pamper your dog at a doggy spa. You can also turn your day into game day and play a variety of games. I think dogs would love that. And lastly, let your dog unwrap their own presents. We do this for Christmas, and I don't know why we didn't do it for his birthday. Yeah, he would have loved to just pull it out of a bag or really wrapping it in paper. He would have torn that to shreds. He would have loved it. It's like when it, when there's only paper around, he'll eat the paper. But if there's a toy in the paper, he completely ignores yeah, it. Yeah, he's so silly like that. So these are all such fun ideas. We're definitely going to try out some of them next year. Oh, yeah, that means it's time for Puppy Parent Replies. It's been way too long since we asked a question on social media. Absolutely. And in honor of Carson's 49th puppy year birthday, we asked you wonderful puppy parents, how do you celebrate your dog's birthday? And the answers, as always, were as varied as they were entertaining. (laughs) Yes. So Jamie N. says, Louie, so there was a picture. So Louie on the left and his BFF Ollie have birthdays a week apart. So there's always a big party. (laughs) (laughs) And they got their little party hats. Hilarious. So cute. Susan K. says, a nice piece of chicken and a juicy bone. A happy little dog. Ooh, nice treat. 
Susan H. says, same, meaning we sing to him, give him a doggy cupcake, and wrapped up Xmas prezzies. He loves it. <laughs> I love how she says prezzies. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony C. says, I sing go for a ride like staying alive. So, ha, 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 go for a ride, go for <laughs> a ride. <laughs> I can just see the dog getting so excited every time he hears oh, that yeah. and, he, and he sends a picture, too. You see a dashboard of a car, and there's a paw in, in the camera. I'm <laughs> going for a ride. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Anyway, so cute. I love getting great ideas from other puppy parents. Keep them coming, y'all. Eleven-year-old Walter just may die of boredom doing the most boring summer ever. While exploring an abandoned garden, Walter discovers a mystical elf world where all dead plants spring to life at his touch. The downtrodden elves think Walter is there to save them with his new life-giving powers. To defeat the wicked Ichabod von Schnathoff, before he sucks everyone's joy dry with his never-ending list of rules, Walter will need to use his best power yet, his imagination. In a dying, oppressed world, one boy has the power to bring freedom and life. Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination will take you and your middle-grade reader on a thrilling journey while igniting the depths of your imagination. Boys the Book says, beautiful imagery leads to spectacular world building in this fantasy that will leave the young reader glued to the pages. Relatable characters add to the magic of the story with never a dull moment. Get your magical fingers on a copy of Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination by Rebecca Lynn Morales, now at Amazon.com. Find out more at WalterPlume.com. Let Walter and his story awaken your beautiful and creative imagination. Now it's time for Instadog of the Week. And this week we have an adorable short-legged JRT named Mac. Yay! You can find Mac on Instagram at the Jack Russell Mac. That's at the Jack Russell, one word, M-A-C. And boy, is he a cutie. <laughs> he might even qualify as pudding status with his tiny little legs and the outturned front paws. Pudding or not, he's definitely something sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but before we explore Max Page, we have a voicemail from his Jack Russell mama, Danielle. Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm the Jack Russell Max mum. We live in Lake Macquarie, New South Wales, Australia. Mac goes by many names in our home. Mac the Jack, Mackie, Mackie Moo. Mac is definitely part of the family now and we couldn't imagine life without him. He has his own quirky, funny personality and makes us laugh every day. Mac is probably a bit on the lazy side for a Jack Russell. Odd, I know. He does have his zoomy moments, but other times he wants to be lifted onto the lounge and watch TV. No jumping for our lazy boy. And he loves being carried to bed every night. He's mummy's boy through and through. For more fun times with Mac, please head to his Instagram page, Dirt Jack Russell Mac. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thanks, Danielle, for sharing. We adore your pup and your voice. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. And if y'all want to be as awesome as Danielle, go to jackrussellparents.com slash showcase. Just press the big red button and you can record a voicemail message to us and include it in your dog Instagram feature. But let's get back to Mac. His bio reads, Mac the Jack Russell dog emoji, <laughs> cake emoji, <laughs> August 21st, 2021. So he's a bitty, bitty baby. He's not even a year old. Aww. And I'm probably going to butcher the way you pronounce this in Australia. Lake Macquarie, Australia. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead. So... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mac has a relatively new page, but there's plenty of cute to go around. So, Becca, what is your favorite pick? 
Oh my goodness. I think one of my favorites is he's just smiling at the camera and you see really his bottom teeth. <laughs> it's not even his whole teeth. Kind of like little kids do in the pictures. When somebody says smile or say cheese and they're like, mm, you know, this <laughs> school <laughs> photos, they make memes out of those because they're so bad. <laughs> But you just see his little bottom puppy teeth, and it says, learning to smile for the camera, say cheese. (laughs) He's a doll. My absolute favorite is the two-pick series of Max standing in front of the sign that says, congratulations, Pet Stock Puppy School, class of 2021. The caption says, I graduated puppy school. Clearly, I didn't learn anything. (laughs) Just joking. And can you guess what's going on in the pics? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's an excited Jack Russell. So both pictures are completely blurry. <laughs> The first looks like he's lunging at the camera, and the second is mostly his butt as he disappears out of frame. (laughs) But, I mean, it's a perfect school photo, right? Oh, Oh, my gosh. I love it. It really is perfect, man. It perfectly encapsulates a Jack Russell. (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. There's so many adorable pics of this little guy. And you don't want to go one more day without Mac in your Insta feed. So follow him at the Jack Russell Mac, one word, M-A-C. Whether you're loving on a JRT from the States or the land down under, a yearly reminder of the gift of their life is certainly worth celebrating. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. (laughs) We'd love to connect with you online at jackrusselparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier Podcast. The Jack Russell Parents Podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrusselparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm